guys and welcome to a brand new episode of 360 Daily and TGIF. I know you're expecting me to say it, so I've said it. There it is, TGIF. I hope you're getting up to something super interesting or relaxing this weekend. Either way, prioritize yourself. Let's get into what's trending. First off, we're going to be talking about EFCC filing 11 charges against Naira Mali, and he might be possibly facing up to seven years in jail if found guilty. Next up on what's trending, find out why David O unfollows Latin on Instagram and deletes the EFCC posts as well. Also find out celebrities who are expressing their rage over the Alabama abortion ban. And lastly, a hip hop Romeo and Juliet story is coming to Netflix. All this and so much more on this brand new episode of 360 Daily. First off, onwards trending Naira Mali to be arraigned on Monday as ESCC released his charge sheet. Singer Aziz Fashala, aka Naira Mali, will be arraigned in court on Monday to face 11 charges bordering on fraud against him for alleged credit card fraud. The musician faces up to seven years in jail if found guilty as Section 33, Subsection 2, which he is accused of breaching, reads any person who uses a counterfeit access device, an authorized access device, an access divide issues by another person resulting in a loss or gain commits an offense and shall be liable on conviction to imprisonment for a term of not more than seven years or a fine not more than five million naira and forfeiture of the advantage or value derived from his act. In the charge sheet released by EFCC, it was indicated that the singer signed and collected the original copy ahead of his arraignment. The artist was arrested last Friday along with four others, including his friend and singer Zlatan Ibile, who has since been released on administrative bail. To be honest, this whole Nari Mali story is so confusing. His team released a statement saying that they found evidence on a borrowed, on a borrowed device and that they're spreading a lot of false rumors and that they're asking the blogs and everybody to confirm the story before they post it. I just really want to know what prompted ESCC to pick up Nara Mali because there's so many layers to this whole conversation. And I think if ESCC picked up Nara Mali because he sang a song called Am I a Yahoo Boy and because he was talking about Yahoo Boys on social media, so that means we don't have freedom of speech. Or like, did he really commit crimes? And if he has said that it's a borrowed device, then like, I don't understand this whole Nara Mali and ESCC drama. I just really hope that they didn't arrest him because they were trying to make an example out of him because that would definitely be them abusing power. Next up, onwards trending Will Smith and Queen Latifah to produce hip hop Romeo and Juliet story. A hip hop musical take on Romeo and Juliet is in the works at Netflix with Will Smith and Queen Latifah set to produce. The film is described as a contemporary musical take on William Shakespeare's tragedy set against the urban rhythms of New York. The love story follows a young waitress from the streets of Brooklyn and an aspiring musician from a wealthy family whose unconventional romance forces them to confront their life choices. Latifah and Shaq and Compare will produce via their Flavor Units Entertainment banner along with David Bromey and Young Yaman for 257 Productions. Smith will act as an executive director under his Overbrook Entertainment with James Elasita and Caleb Pinkett. Next up on What's Trending, Michelle Obama to headline 25th anniversary of Essence Fest in New Orleans. Former First Lady Michelle Obama has been announced as a headliner for the 25th anniversary of the Essence Fest of Culture in New Orleans. Obama will join already announced appearances from Mary J. Blige, Missy Elliott and her for the 4th to 7th festival and conference. We are indescribably thrilled and honored to have Forever First Lady Michelle Obama as part of our 25th anniversary Essence Festival, which will mark our most exciting and extensive programming to date, said the CEO of Essence Communication, Michelle E. Banks, in a release. The 25th anniversary event will be Obama's first appearance at the festival and follows her successful tour in support of her memoir, Becoming. Obama will sit down on July 6th at the Louisiana Superdome for an interview. In December, Obama graced the cover of Essence magazine and will contribute a monthly closing issue award for the July and August issue. In addition to Obama's appearance, an epic homecoming musical lineup of more than 80 performers is slated at the Louisiana Superdome, including Mary J. Blige, Nas, Missy Elliott, Her, Big Frida, David O, Frankie Beverly, Jermaine Dupri, MC Light, Farrah Williams, and Shayla E. 